อเมนวันอีวานจิลิสม612 paragraph 4 same paragraph right ต่อมาเสียงในบาทิลิสมอปัจจุบัน We saw that the days of Christ are the same as the days in the Millerite history in the 1848 time period. We saw that Ellen White's make an application of this period of darkness with a reform line. And if she's applying this to reform line, so can we. So this opens um, the possibility for us to now go into the 1888 history and understand that to be. A typification of a reform line. Whilst at the same time recognizing that it's only the second generation of this mystery of iniquity or this darkness that God's people enter into. Just want to add one more point. When we spoke about the Jews, and they're going into a period of uh, darkness before they get to the time of the end, who are they being held captive by? It's the Greeks and the Romans. So we know that Rome is connected with this darkness. And we've got the mystery of iniquity, which we've taken off somewhere. So we've put the mystery of iniquity here. Part of this darkness, and we can see it's connected to 1260. So we know that this history here. God's people are being held captive. By whom? By Rome. But it's not pagan Rome. It's papal Rome. And how is papal Rome holding God's people captive? Two principles. Two principles. Remember. The philosophies of doubt and all that is connected, all that's connected to that, and our insistence of using our doctrinal knowledge and information, and our insistence that we use our doctrinal knowledge. The truths that we understand, as the means of saving us, instead of relying upon Jesus, instead of relying upon Jesus, instead of. So, in resisting this darkness, we end up doing it by our own strength. And if that wasn't bad enough, our strength has been weakened because of all these false philosophies. So, all I'm doing is giving an explanation of what this darkness means or what this mystery of iniquity means, which are terms that we use frequently. So I'm saying from 63 to 89, our church has fallen into captivity. And we've had this progressive degeneration 
tuvimos esa degeneración progresiva in our theology, in our religion. en nuestra religión, en nuestra teología. Now it's not a degradation morally. No es una, una degradación moral. We understand as much about the morality of the law today than we did before. Sabemos, eh, tanto hoy sobre la moralidad del Señor como antes. So the degradation is not in the morality, it's in the prophecy. La degradación no está en el área moral, sino en profecía. So what's happened Lo que aconteció is that we've imbibed papal philosophies and papal ideas que hemos eh, tragado filosofías papales and they've destroyed our prophetic heritage ellos destruyeron nuestra herencia profética one step after another un paso tras otro and if you wanted to give an overarching theme of what this degradation was y si tú quieres dar un tema general, general de, de, de qué era esa degradación it would be the 2520 sería los 2520 This is the prophetic heritage that we've lost. Esto es el, la herencia profética que hemos perdido. And if you were to analyze the history at these four waymarks, si tú analizarías la historia de esos cuatro hitos, you would see that they're all connected to the 2520 in some shape or form. Que todos están conectados de una u otra manera a los 2520. They all have their unique histories, their unique battles. Todos tienen sus, sus historias propias, sus propias batallas. Their unique failures. Sus fallos. But an overarching theme or concept would be the 2520. Pero un concepto general de todo eso sería 2520. And because we have rejected 2520 for so long, por tanto hemos 2520, when it comes back into history today, cuando, eh, a la de hoy, there is literally, virtually no possibility of the church accepting it. Literal, o no hay de la And only a remnant, a few people, Solo un remanent, unos pocas personas, can accept these truths. So that's his history here. We read that the misreading, misinterpretation was deliberate. And it says if they had searched prayerfully, they would have been rewarded. They will be rewarded with the correct uh, ability to read and the correct ability to interpret. So we're going to now read what that looks like. What is this issue about reading and interpreting? So you'll see, if we finish the sentence, it tells you. So it says they would have been rewarded and we stop there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to finish the sentence. Vamos a leer esa frase otra vez. And you're going to see two things they would have been rewarded with. Su investigación los habría recompensado con un verdadero reconocimiento del tiempo y no solo del tiempo, sino también de la manera en la cual Cristo aparecería. So there's two things. What were the two things? ¿Cuáles son esas dos cosas? Esas dos recompensas. Tiempo, tiempo y manera. Time. Time and the manner. Tiempo y la manera. The manner of the appearing. La manera de la apariencia. So I'll say it another way. It's related to time. Digo de otra manera. Está relacionado al tiempo. And when that time occurs, tiempo, what it looks like. So they're the two things they would have understood. And they're the two things they reject. So the first thing they're rejecting is the time. They don't understand the time. Where are they getting that from? Is that, does that take interpreting? Time. Does, interpret, uh, ah. does time take interpreting? Do you have to interpret scriptures to work out this time? Para el 
I would say no. Yo diría que no. You just go to Daniel chapter 9. Simplemente vas a Daniel 9. And, and you just do some mathematics. Y haces matemática. If you do it prayerfully, haces con oración. you won't make mistakes. Y no harías errores. All you need to do Todo lo que tienes que hacer is work out the year 457. Es encontrar ese año 457. You get that correct. Si eso encuentras correctamente. Don't misread your history. No, eh, mal entiendes tu historia. And you're going to get to where? Entonces llegas a donde? The 15th year of Tiberius Caesar. El año 15 de César Tiberio. Which is 27 AD. Que es el año 27 después de Cristo. Daniel 9 will take you there. Daniel 9 te lleva allá. So if you got your history correct and you prayed carefully, you wouldn't misread. Si oraste con cuidado y interpretaste tu historia correctamente, entonces tú no hubieses eh, leído mal. And the misreading y el leer mal makes you make a mistake on what subject? Entonces causa que hagas un error en qué tema? On time. En referencia al tiempo. If you misread, you make a mistake on time. Si lees mal, haces errores en tiempo. That's the first point. Punto. Now interpretation. Ahora, interpretation. Jesus is 12. Jesus tiene 12. He's going to Jerusalem. Va a Jerusalem. And what's he going to teach them? Y qué lo va a what does he teach them when he's 12 years old and he goes to the school of the prophets there? ¿Qué es lo que but by the way, it's not school of the prophets, it's school of the bigots. Uh, this is uh, William Miller's 14th rule. You copy men. You just copy them, copycats. Clones. Clones, yes. You stamp them with your thinking. So if you read William Miller's 14th, 14th rule, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so what's he trying to teach them? We've done the misreading. What's he trying to teach them when he's 12? Interpretation. Interpretation. He wants to teach them about interpretation. Les quiere enseñar sobre interpretación. So what do they need to interpret when he's 12? ¿Qué es lo que tiene que interpretar cuando él tiene 12? ¿Cuál es su función? Sí, ¿Qué es lo que él quiere que interpretan cuando él tenía 12 años? When, ¿Cuál es su función para que viva? ¿Cuál cuadra es su función? When Jesus begins his ministry, what's the first thing he does? Cuando él comienza su ministerio, ¿cuál es la primera cosa que hace? He cleans the temple el of all the what? The, qué? the animals. Los animales. Yeah? All those lambs. Todos esos corderos. And he stays where? ¿Y dónde se queda él? In the temple. En el templo. Because he's reinforcing the lesson that he gave 18 years before. So what was he teaching them when he was 12? ¿Qué le estaba enseñando con el niño 12? about lambs they don't understand what lambs are all about because a lamb is a what? it's a symbol of Jesus now it's so obvious to us I don't think we can even imagine what the Jews would think but maybe we could I would say I do this off camera, but I'll forget. So I'll take it on camera, but maybe edit this out. Okay. You maybe switch it off for a second. Yeah. Okay, so they would have been saved from the problem of time and the, um, the manner in which Christ appeared. El problema del tiempo y la manera como él eh, apareció. Okay, so the first thing I want to make a point on is this. Entonces la primera cosa sobre la cual quiero hacer un punto es lo siguiente. We're here. Estamos aquí. And she's going to take us back to here. Ella nos llevará aquí a ese tiempo. Which gives us the ability to come to here. Que nos da la habilidad de llegar a este punto. Are we okay with all of that? Tenemos esto. 
Okay, now do we believe in line upon line or we don't believe in line upon line? Okay, well, it's obvious, we're all going to say we all believe. Until. There's always an until. Here, what do they need to understand when they're doing this misreading? What's reading do, connected to? ¿Con qué se el leer? Can we just put read? And then an arrow? Yeah. Uh, just a small, like an like a arrow like that. Because yeah. I want to put another word in, the opposite, because I want to... Reading leads you to what? What's it connected to that we just said? Time. Tiempo. Reading is to do with time. Leer tiene que ver con tiempo. And then the other one is interpret underneath. Interpretar. Interpretar. And interpret, I don't know if you want to draw a picture, but it's. Uh, you, maybe you can draw a picture of a man. It's what you look like. Eso es tu apariencia, como te ves. What's the problem that the Jews are having? Apariencia. ¿Cuál es el problema que tienen los judíos? Jesus has just come back from the 40 days of temptation. Cristo acaba de volver de 40 días de tentación. And John looks at him. Y Juan lo mira. And he says, look, there's the lamb. Y dice, mira, ahí está el cordero. By the way, John didn't know what the lamb was either. I don't, you know, I don't know if you know that. He didn't know that. He learned that in that 40 days. So when he comes back, he says that. He still doesn't fully understand what it means. And he points. And then all the eyes turn in that direction. And they see, I don't know, maybe 50 men. And what do they see? Fifty men. <laughs> Nothing strange. So they're saying, can you point him out please? Because the manner of his appearing is not what you expect. What does he look like? He looks like a nothing. In fact, if you looked at him, he looks worse than the common. He looks a bit thinner. He looks tired. Do you have the word haggard, like kind of his face just looks bad? I don't want to say ugly, but he looks not good. So it's not what you expect. No es lo que tú esperas. So can we see all of that? Todo esto? So, if she's making an application of time here, si él hace una de aquí, and appearance, y I'm saying line upon line, estoy yo, línea sobre línea. when you come to our line, si a línea, what are the two things you have to be looking for and you're going to make a misapplication over? Time Tiempo. and appearance. Y and that's what the church is making a mistake over. Y la está un error de but not only the church. No la Even John was making this mistake. Juan Certainly the disciples were. Los they don't understand the time. No and they don't understand the appearing of what, Je or what Jesus looks like. So I'm saying, just based upon this one passage, there are others that we're going to have a misconception about time and appearance. And when I say we, that's people, people in the structure and people in the movement. And why are we making that mistake? Why 
we're making the mistake Estamos haciendo ese error. because we're not prayerfully we're not searching the scripture with prayerful earnest hearts Porque no investigamos las escrituras con corazones sinceros y con oración. So our hearts are unconverted. Nuestros corazones no están convertidos. Did God have a solution for all of this? ¿Acaso el Señor tiene una solución para eso? Yep. Claro que sí. Before the time antes del tiempo and before the appearing y antes de la interpretación what did God provide? ¿Qué provió? For all of us. Sorry? So we'll call it a new heart. And who provided this new heart for us? John the Baptist. Isn't that correct? Six months before the time. Six months before the appearing Seis meses antes de la apariencia, John's ministry starts comienza el ministerio de Juan, and a prophet is born y un profeta es nacido. and this is our hope y eso es nuestra esperanza, our privilege es un privilegio, of not making a mistake on two subjects de no cometer errores en dos, eh, aspectos, dos Temas. On time and appearing. Y Look what they do. Mira lo que hacen. And I'm telling you, this is what's happening today. Y yo les digo, eso es lo que hoy. In our movement. En as well as our church. Igual como la iglesia. So it talks about if they had prayed and studies, they would have understood the time and the appearing. Entonces, si hubiesen, eh, orado de esa manera y estudiado, hubiesen tenido el tiempo y la apariencia. Next sentence. They would not. They would not have. No habría confundido la gloriosa segunda venida de Cristo con su primer advenimiento. Okay, they would not have made the mistake of getting the second advent and putting it into the first advent. No hubiesen confundido las el segundo advenimiento y colocado como el si fuera el primero. So. That's here, Eso es aquí. goes to here, aquí también. goes to here. Y va para acá. What mistake are we making? ¿Qué error estamos so as you write here, ¿Qué dice? they're describing the second advent Ellos el to the first advent. Ah, no, lo, lo en lugar del And they're not understanding that there are two separate things. No que son dos cosas It says, Second and first. Segundo y primero. It doesn't say advent. No dice advenimiento. It says appearing. Dice venida. So she chooses the words very carefully. Ella las palabras cuidadosamente. But we're not going to look at that in detail. We're just going to look at this. Bueno, vamos a mirar esto en detalle. Vamos a mirar esto aquí. First and second. Primero y segundo. How do we understand that? ¿Cómo eh, podemos entender esto? Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Does everybody understand that concept? El comienzo y el fin. Todos entendemos ese concepto. Yeah? Starts here and ends here. Comienza aquí y termina acá. So we have to have an understanding here. Tenemos que tener una comprensión aquí. We're making a mistake in our movement. Estamos haciendo un error en nuestro movimiento. And what we're doing Lo que estamos haciendo is we're looking at what's going on here. Miramos a lo que acontece acá. And we're saying, y decimos, our movement can't be correct. Este movimiento no puede estar correcto. Because it doesn't look like what? Porque no se ve como qué. Doesn't look like the second advent. No se ve como el segundo advenimiento. They're saying, this history can't be correct because it doesn't look like what? Ellos dicen, ese tiempo no puede ser correcto porque no se parece, no se parece a qué. It doesn't look like what? No se ve como qué. Does not like the second advent. Se ve como el segundo advenimiento. Because they don't know. Porque ellos no saben. What don't they know? Que no saben. They don't know what the first advent is supposed to look like. Que no tienen idea cómo se debería ver el primer advenimiento. What's it supposed to look like? Cómo se debería ver. The appearing. La apariencia. Looks like that. Sí. So my brother put glory here. Yo puse gloria. But there's not any glory, and that's the problem. No hay aquí. Eso es el Because where is the glory? ¿Dónde está la 
It's on the inside. Está por Hidden. Escondido. No one can see it. Nadie puede verlo. So the problem is, Su problema es they're expecting glory on the outside. Ellos la por afuera. They're expecting this Ellos esto here. Acá. And if you can't see it, si no lo ver, they're saying this must be a false movement. Entonces dicen, eso tiene que ser uno. I want us to see all the problems that are here we're facing the same problem today it's connected with timing and connected with appearance next sentence they had the, they had the testimony now count the testimonies Tenían el testimonio de Isaías y de otros profetas. Tenían las enseñanzas de Moisés. Y allí estaba Cristo en medio de ellos. Y ellos todavía investigaban las escrituras en busca de evidencias concernientes a su, a su venida. So, how many testimonies do they have? ¿Cuántos testimonios tienen? Okay, so it says three explicitly. It says Daniel, Isaiah, Moses. And then it says the other prophets as well. Does it say that? Yep. Yeah. So you got three explicit prophets. So you know that each of those three prophets are speaking about this history therefore they're speaking about our history and when they're speaking about this history they're speaking about when Christ is doing his ministry which is before the end it's not just the cross or the stone of Stephen o la, eh, el apedreamiento de Esteban. It's what Jesus looks like es como Cristo aparece when he comes viene and about the timing y sobre el tiempo. And the timing y el tiempo begins at the baptism. Comienza en el bautismo. Can we agree with that? Estamos de acuerdo. It's the end of the 69th week. Es el fin de la semana 69. So I'm not teaching anything strange. No aquí nada raro. You get the 70 week prophecy of Daniel 9. It begins in 27, ends in 34. So you need to know what Jesus looked like in between that history. And who's going to teach him that? Quién, eh, va a esto? Daniel, Daniel, Isaiah, Isaiah and Moses. Y Moses. These three prophets are going to teach in this history. Esos tres profetas van a enseñar sobre esa historia. And if you believe in line upon line, si tú crees en línea sobre línea, then these three prophets are going to teach us about our reform line. Esos tres profetas nos van a enseñar sobre nuestra línea de reforma. And they're going to teach us about the timing sobre el tiempo, and they're going to teach us about the appearing. Y la apariencia. So I want us to be really clear about all of that. And then it says the other prophets. Luego dice los otros so we could go to different places. Entonces, así ir a Some examples. Some obvious ones. Zephaniah. Sofonía. Haggai. Haggaias. Joel. Zechariah. Malachi. I mean, they're obvious ones that we talk about often. And there are others that are not so obvious. So you've got all of these testimonies. Have they got any excuse for misunderstanding or misinterpreting? No. It's because they're not doing it with prayerful, earnest hearts. Just so that you understand what that means. It doesn't mean they're not trying. It doesn't mean they don't spend six hours a day on their knees asking. Because the Bible says you ask. But what kind of asking are you doing? You ask for yourselves. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go to James chapter 4 verse 3. Vamos a Santiago 4 3. So it's not that they're not asking. No es que no preguntan. This verse is going to show this. Ese versículo va a probar. So it's not about quantity. No se, no se trata de cantidad. It's not even talking about your seriousness. Tampoco habla de tu sinceridad. It's going to tell you why you don't receive. Es porque no recibí, no recibes. Why you're not going to receive the truth. Porque no se recibirás Re la verdad. Santiago 4.3 Pedís y no recibís, porque pedís mal, para gastar en vuestros deleites. So you're asking for something. Preguntas por algo. And you're not going to receive what you're asking for. No recibes lo que estás pidiendo. Because you ask amiss or for the wrong reasons. Porque pedís falsamente por and, los, o por las eh, razones erradas. And what's the reason you're asking? Y por qué razón estás preguntando? So you can exalt your own lust and your own desires. Para exaltar tus propios deseos y eh, concupiscencias. So the Jews want to understand about a Messiah who's going to destroy Romans. Entonces los judíos quieren entender sobre un, un Mesías que destruye los romanos. So they pray about understanding who the Messiah is. Entonces oran para entender quién es el Mesías. But they want the wrong kind of Messiah so they're never going to find out. But the first part, they, they asking for the wrong Messiah. Preguntan por el Mesías errado si nunca entenderán. So they're never going to find out the truth. No van a descubrir la verdad nunca. So this is our problem. We say, decimos, can't be any time. No puede haber tiempo. You people don't look righteous enough. Usted, no puede ser el tiempo. Ustedes no aparecen eh, justos. So this can't be correct. No puede ser correcto. Because you're praying and asking. Porque preguntan y, y, y oran. But you're not doing this genuinely. Pero no lo, ha, no lo hacen correctamente. So they have all of this stuff and it's not doing them any good. Todo esto, pero no les hace bien. So they have all of those testimonies. Todos esos Daniel, Isaiah, Daniel, Moses y and all the prophets. Isaías, Moisés, y todos los prophets. And have one more. Because we only count it four, there's one more. Uno más aquí. What's the other testimony? Es otro Jesus himself. Cristo mismo, John the Baptist. Oh, he doesn't say that here. Pero no lo dice aquí. I used to read what it says. Solo lo que dice he says, and here was Christ in their very midst. Y aquí estaba Cristo en el medio. So he's here in front of them. Aquí está en medio de ellos. And what are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? No, they're not doing that. What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? Looking where? Where? ¿Dónde mira? Where are they looking? Read the verse. ¿Qué dice el versículo? Where are they looking? ¿Dónde mira? No, not the verse in the book. You got the spirit prophecy quote. Yeah, I was waiting for her to say it, and I use her. Can you find it? Read it on her phone. So he's in front of them and they say, we don't want to look at that. We're going to look at the scriptures. You know why? Because you're not supposed to look at man. Any man. Even the man Jesus. You've got to look at the Bible and the Bible only. Except if the man Jesus looks like the kind of man you like. El hombre Jesús parece así como el hombre que a ti te gusta. Then you look at him. Entonces puedes mirarlo. If he's got some benefit to give to you. Porque tiene algún beneficio de darte. But if he doesn't give you what you want. Pero si no, si él no te da lo que tú quieres. Doesn't behave like you want. No se comporta como tú quieres. Then you say, well, look at the Bible. Entonces dices, voy a mirar la Biblia. The Bible and Bible only. La Biblia es solamente la Biblia.